Hi Aries, this is Patricia from Cosmic Moonshot Tarot 1111 coming to you today with your May 29, 2018 full moon reading in Sagittarius. This is for Aries, okay? So, let's see what's going on with you. I, I believe a lot of you are in your element right now, you know, Aries. Um, or you, you, you could be dealing with uh, someone that is um, fire energy, uh, which could be Sagittarius uh, or uh, Leo, or also Aries like you. And um, I feel some of you are not working at this moment. Okay, you're not working at this moment. I feel some of you feel stuck or you're thinking a lot. Okay, you're always on your mind, in your mind. <coughs> so let's go over Aries, Sun, Rising, and Venus. Some of you um, it could be uh, there's someone that's a Capricorn that you're having a hard time letting go of. See what's going on for Aries. Some kind of attachments. Let's see. Okay. Okay, here we go. So right now, Aries, your intuition is right on target, okay? You did get a high priestess, so your intuition is right on target. Your light and your shadow side, you worked very hard. You embraced this, and you're getting a lot of messages, plus you have a lot of knowledge. And uh, there's a lot of secrets with the high priestess, okay? But I feel that this is you, that you are in, your intuition is right on target. What's challenging you is an air sign, okay? So this could be Libra, Gemini, or um, Libra, Gemini or Aquarius, okay? Uh, could be a male or female, it doesn't matter because it is a general reading. Uh, this is what, this is person might be challenging you with uh, maybe the way they speak, maybe that uh, they're not always um, say what they mean or mean what they say, okay? In the recent past with this person, I feel that there was not enough give and take, okay? Like it was like, it wasn't equal. Maybe you were giving more than they were giving or vice versa. Also, in the recent past, I feel that there's a job that didn't come towards you, okay? It's still in delay here. But I do see what's crowning you is that you are going to be, um, you are grounded. Um, this is a person I read this moment that you are probably, uh, if you do have a good job or in a, you're in a good career, a placement, you are making money. Uh, this is a person that's very truthful, honest, um, very stable as well and knows what she wants or he wants, Okay. But I see you're in the near future, okay, that you're going to be juggling many things at the same time. You're going to be off balance a bit. You're going to be pulled in two different directions as well, okay. We're going to find out more what's going on in the reading. Right now, you're moving forward, okay. Uh, you could be dealing with a Cancer or a, uh, or a Sagittarius as well in your reading. Uh, but you're, you, you made a decision and you're moving forward and you're taking reign of your life and you're moving forward. And at the same time, you are... Um, um, also, there's going to be a lot of short distance travel back and forth. In the recent past, maybe there was a lot of fighting with this um, with this uh, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra person. Okay, but it shows me there's no more fighting going on. But there was fighting. And um, then I get over here a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Okay, that's like the that's here for you. And there's a lot of victory. This person, I feel there's a lot of victory for this person. There's a lot of victory. Uh, maybe this person is well known, or so, something like uh, like a lot of people love love this person, and this person is going to be very uh, significant, okay, uh, in in uh, in the coming uh, weeks. I also see here justice, okay. So if you are going to be going for some for those of you that are in court or going through a divorce, I do see that uh, uh, it will be on your side. It will favor, okay, uh, whatever that's going on for you. And right now, even though you're like, you, this is like the end of a difficult situation that you've been going through, okay? And you're not really making plans of anything right now, but there is a new beginning for you. There's, there is a new beginning. So let's see what's going on here. Why is, uh, why, why is this uh, queen or uh, a swords or king of swords challenging you? Let's see why it's challenging you. 
I feel that this person is not letting you in. Aries. There's something that they're hiding. Or they're trying to get away with. Why is this six of... Um, why is the six of pentacles reversed? I find there was a lot of mockery between you and this person in the past. And the messages weren't coming in in the way that you wished, okay? And in the recent past, you did get mess a message, but it was like uh, a message that was um, given... It was a message that came in very quickly with tact, but it was also very challenging information for you. Let's see about the Queen of Pentacles. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? This is divine timing, so there is something that's coming in for you in divine timing to do with a uh, work. Okay, so for those of you that are not working, you might get a job. Okay, but the divine timing is here for you. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Well, I I, uh, I I feel your in your future for the two of pentacles that is here, is that uh, there is love coming towards you. Okay, I, I also see a, a job coming towards you, but also love. You did get the ace of cups. Okay, uh, I feel that you're going to be juggling a lot of work and home because your home. I feel because right now this is going to be is also reversed here, and normally if it's upright, it talks about how you you're stable. You, you know, uh, happy, happy time in, in the home. I feel here there isn't, okay? There isn't right now at this moment. But there is love coming towards you. The divine is bringing you love. But you're going to be juggling because you're going to be working. This isn't divine timing. You're not going to expect this, but this is coming in for you. There is a friendship that's coming in for you as well. Okay, Aries, there's a friendship that's coming in. It's just maybe just started. Maybe you're talking to someone. Okay, it could be a Sagittarius. Okay. Um, and I uh, and I feel like a lot of you ca cultivated uh, patience a lot and worked on yourself. Okay, but there is a friendship that's going to be coming in for you. The Wheel of Fortune is here. Okay, so the Wheel of Fortune talks about second chances sometimes. Not always. Sometimes it talks about, let's say in the past, a lot of things did not go your way. Well, things will come your way this time. How many cards came out there? Some of you suffer from a broken heart in the past. Okay, there was a broken heart in the past. I want to know why they gave me the three of swords here. Why is the Three of Swords here? Someone that you walked away from, or they walked away from you. This has to do with a marriage that did not go well. And there's completion here for you with this marriage, okay? So there's a new beginning, new cycles that are going to be happening. And I also see travel here for you. This is very good. But there is a friendship that's coming in for you. And um, I feel that this friend is going to come to you for help, okay, because they're they're going through something very um they're um I feel that this person that's gonna come to you, Aries, is let's say if there's someone that's coming towards you as a to get to know you, they're gonna they're they came out of a depression, but they're still suffering from an emotional loss, I feel here, from something in the past, and I think that you are gonna be giving them a helping hand. I want to know why the Seven of Swords showed up in your reading with this person that is challenging you. What is it exactly that they're... Why is the Seven of Swords here? Show me why the Seven of Swords is here. Show me why the Seven of Swords is here. Not too many cards. Just one card. Again, um... 
I feel that they're hiding something. There's a lot of fears and anxiety with this person. A lot of anxiety and, anxiety and fears. You could be dealing with a Pisces also. Uh, maybe they have an air, air quality and they also have a Pisces or Cancer uh, uh, energy in their chart. Is there anything else that Harry should know about this person? Cards. Oh, okay. Oh, two cards wanted to come out. This is someone that you were, uh, you know, uh, building and growing and evolving, especially if this, if you were married to this person, okay. Um, and uh, where it shows that uh, I have also got the ten of, um, of pentacles also reversed here, showing me that there was like no new beginnings in finances or in the relationship itself, okay. So overall, what's going on here? They have like a sneaky behavior, you know. Give me one more card for Aries. Sorry, it just came out. And this is how you, some of you are going to be dealing with a Virgo soon. It could be that you're dealing with a Virgo or this is going to be your characteristics. You're going to be taking time off from everybody and you're going to go within and look into yourself to know what's your next step. So now I want to take another card from these cards here of what's going on for you oh, this card wanted to come out no it's not it has to come out <laughs> what are the messages there we go you're a law in your mind okay uh it could be that at this moment um your crown might be hurting you some of you are going to be experiencing headaches as well uh i feel for a lot of you here you're going to be going through a transformation okay because i feel that you are um thinking a lot uh, and you i think this is why this card came out the virgo card but also the hermit card is like when you have to go within because you are your own master, okay, Aries, you are your own master. There's a lot of people that come up to you, that come to you to talk to you. I find that, like, friends and family members will always come to you for help, okay? And, uh, you know, and you could give them the best acknowledged wisdom, okay? Anything else that Aries should know? Whatever it is, there's some, some kind of post postponement coming on for you, okay? So uh, there is a postponement. Uh, you're looking at things through a window. Um, you know that in, in in the future or whatever you vision. Look at this card. I'm going to show you. Okay, so she's she's in the dark here, and she looks through this window, and everything is bright. Okay, and I feel that sometimes your mood, like maybe sometimes you're in a good you're in a good mood, other times you are not. And um, with this card, it shows me here that. There's some kind of, sometimes like there's things that have to be in delay. There's a reason why, okay? That things are in delay. Anything else? You need to cultivate patience, and I know you have because you already got this card twice already. You got the patient card twice. It takes time before anything happens. Uh, anything whether it has to do with your career or love okay it takes time and uh some of you are going through a rebirth as well and for others of you well uh you know you are pregnant here too i feel like you're pregnant here uh and um it takes nine months to have uh, a child you know so it's the same kind of concept like in whatever it is that you're trying to do here um you have a beautiful reading aries and i hope to see you soon uh, i'll be back in the new moon uh, in the month of june okay so take care Bye.